After watching this video, even people who couldn't lose weight with punch exercises can get toned abs. Are you doing aerobic exercise effectively? Are you conscious of your upper body, core, and lower body muscles during aerobic exercise? Do you know how to burn body fat? It's okay even for beginners. There's no need to move vigorously. There is no need for dietary restrictions. So let's learn how to throw a punch to lose weight together. Let's go! Stands. If you are right-handed, put your left foot forward. Orthodox. If you are left-handed, put your right foot in front of you. Southpaw. In either stance, make sure your right and left feet are not in a straight line. That way you can move with better balance. Keep your knees slightly relaxed. Please relax. It feels like riding a skateboard or snowboard. Or surfing. But don't bend it too much. Be careful. And your upper body should be half-shaped instead of straight. The hand behind your back protects your chin. The hand in front of you should be at eye level. Keep your elbows close to your stomach and your sides tight to block body punches. Look back. Raise the heel of your back foot. Now the stance is okay. This is what it looks like from the front, side, and back. Other side. Step. When stepping forward, kick the ground with your hind legs. Push the ground. Step forward with your front foot the same distance you kicked with your back foot. Always keep the distance. Always keep the distance between your back legs and front legs the same. Rhythm and balance. Make sure your feet don't overlap when you step forward. Be careful! Be well balanced and keep the distance between your left and right feet the same at all times. This will improve your balance and allow you to use your abdominal muscles. Let's try it three times. I'll come forward. One. Go back. Two. Go back. Three. Good job! When stepping back. Are you ready? Kick the ground with your front legs. Move like this. Step back with your back foot the same distance as you kick with your front foot. Let's try it three times. One. Go back. Two. Go back. Three. Good job. The same goes for moving left and right. The front and hind legs are always a fixed distance apart and never overlap. If you can do this movement, you will lose weight quickly. Let's try it three times. One, go back, two, go back, three, go back, other side. One, go back, two, go back, three, good job. Jab. Next is the jab. Strike with the hand in front of you. If you're looking in the mirror, hit your chin. Actually, I like jab most. At this time, place your center of gravity on the hip joint of your back leg. Very, very important. Punch forward, but keep your center of gravity behind you. By doing this, you will be able to prepare for hitting the straight ball strongly. Strike while exhaling. You can throw a fast punch by clenching your fist only at the moment when the punch is about to land. Make the returning motion faster than the striking motion. Let's try it three times. One, two, three. Good job! Next, step in and use the jab. The distance between the front and back legs should be constant and they should not overlap. Let's try it three times. One, go back. Two. Go back, three, go back, good job! Do the same with the step back jab. This one is more difficult. Let's try it three times. One, go back, two, go back, three, good job! Cross. After the jab is a straight. This is the most powerful punch. Hit it with the hand behind you. Rotate your hips and place your center of gravity on the hip joint of your front leg. Center of gravity from back to front. Similar to a jab, aim for the opponent's chin. 
you can throw a fast punch by clenching your fist only at the moment when the punch is about to land. Make the returning motion faster than the striking motion. Return the punch faster than throw it. Are you ready? Let's try it three times. One, two, three. Good job. Next, step in and use the jab. One, two, three. Good job. Do the same with the step back jab. This one is more difficult. One. Job. Hook. A hook is a punch from the side. Place the elbow of your front hand on your pelvis. Elbow to pelvis. From there, angle your elbow at 90 degrees and hit from the side. Aim for the opponent's chin. Make sure your elbow, punch, and chin are in a straight line. Initially place your center of gravity on the hip joint of your front leg. But as you strike, move it onto the hip joint of your back leg. Shift your center of gravity properly. You can throw a fast punch by clenching your fist only at the moment when the punch is about to land. Do you get it? And you can do it? Make the returning motion faster than the striking motion. Let's try it three times. One, two, three. Good job. Try hitting with the hand behind you as well. Place the elbow of your back hand on your pelvis. From there, angle your elbow at 90 degrees and hit from the side. Aim for the opponent's chin. At first, the center of gravity is placed on the hip joint of the back foot. But as you hit it, it is placed on the hip joint of the front foot. Shift your center of gravity properly. You can throw a fast punch by clenching your fist only at the moment when the punch is about to land. Make the returning motion faster than the striking motion. Let's try it three times. One, two, three. Good job. Uppercut. A punch from below. Place the elbow of your front hand on your pelvis. From there, Start pelvis. Angle your elbow at 90 degrees and hit from below. Aim for the opponent's chin. Initially place your center of gravity on the hip joint of your front leg. But as you strike, move it onto the hip joint of your back leg. Shift your center of gravity properly. You can throw a fast punch by clenching your fist only at the moment when the punch is about to land. Make the returning motion faster than the striking motion. Let's try it three times. One, two, three, good job. Try hitting with the hand behind you as well. Place the elbow of your back hand on your pelvis. From there, angle your elbow at 90 degrees and hit from below. Aim for the opponent's chin. At first, the center of gravity is placed on the hip joint of the back foot. But as you hit it, it is placed on the hip joint of the front foot. Let's try it three times. One, two, three. Good job. Combo. The most basic combination is one, two. Let's master the one, two. Jab straight. Hit the same spot with the jab and straight. When doing a jab, the center of gravity is at the back hip. And when doing a straight, the center of gravity moves to the front hip. Move your center of gravity. What you need to be careful about at this time is to hit the straight in the same position as the jab. Aim for your chin in the mirror and make sure both punches land. If your lower body is unstable, your jab and straight positions will change. The jab shifts slightly upwards, the straight moves slightly downwards, etc. Super be careful! This is evidence of insufficient muscle strength in the lower body. Hit the same spot with the jab and straight. Let's try it three times. One, two! One, two! One, two, good job! 
hit three one twos while stepping in. One two, one two, one two. Good job. Hit one two three times while stepping back. One two, one two, one two. Good job. Hook combination. Hook after one two. Upper combination. Uppercut after one two. This allows you to throw more combination punches. Hit the one two hook three times. Let's go, one, two, hook. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. One, two, hook. Good job. Hit the one, two, uppercut three times. One, two, upper. One, two, upper. One, two, upper. Good job. Burn fat. Lastly, I will introduce punch work that effectively burns fat. Your feet always take steps in a constant rhythm. Step, step. Set up in a fighting pose while stepping back and forth. Keep the distance between your left and right feet the same. Step back and forth. Actually, bounce what now? Assuming your opponent is in front of you. Then, you corner your opponent while making feints. After cornering your opponent, you start throwing 1-2 punches. Your feet are always in motion. Your body is also constantly moving. Your heart rate during this time should be between 120 and 140. It's a good idea to measure your heart rate with something like an Apple Watch. This heart rate is enough to make you short of breath. If you're breathing through your wheezing shoulders, your heart rate is getting too high. Move for 3 minutes at the heart rate that burns fat the most. A punch feint is the act of punching halfway. Hit hooks and uppercuts halfway, and hit right straights halfway. Then it all looks like a feint. During the feint, You are Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson. The muscles of the lower body, the twisting of the lower back, and the abdominal muscles are used to keep the upper body straight. Ladies, you are barely what? Since your legs are constantly moving, it is a very effective aerobic exercise. Do you agree? Of course you also throw real punches. However, you don't have to hit hard every time you punch. Even light punches can keep your heart rate in the optimal area for fat burning if you follow the rhythm. Well, what more? What more? Do this for 3 minutes, then rest for 1 minute. If you think you can do the next round, go for another 3 minutes and take a 1 minute break. Repeat this. Take it easy. Take it easy. If you think this movement is a little difficult, you can simply bounce up and down without taking any steps. It bounces up and down and hits 1 2. Bouncing one, two, one, two. You repeat this. Well done. Thank you everyone for your hard work today. The lower body and abdominal muscles are often used in the action of punching. The lower body is so important that it is said that punching is done with the feet. Train your lower body and abs. Step exercises are effective for strengthening your lower body. Practice stepping forward backward, left and right. Of course, jumping rope and running are also effective. Enjoy punching, do effective aerobic exercise, and lose weight. And you're punching, do effective cardio, and lose weight, that's all. If we got a lot of views, high ratings, and comments, we'll release a sequel. Let me know your opinion. Thank you.